Hi guys, my name is Georgia Lee and this is my sidekick Tuck. Today we're going to be going on a nature walk and exploring all the cool things that we can see in nature. Let's go! While we're on the walk, let's collect three to five leaves to compare when we meet up after our nature walk. If possible, pick the leaves up off the ground so you don't damage the tree. Come on, Tuck, let's go! Welcome back from your nature hike. Did you have a good time? Working together, let's examine the leaves we found now. What differences do you see between the leaves? What do the leaves have in common? Do any of your leaves have teeth? Do any of your leaves have hairs? And if so, where? What do the leaves feel like? Which leaf is the biggest and which leaf is the smallest? Can you trace the veins on the leaves with your finger? Have any of the leaves been eaten by insects? How can you tell? Let's go back to the same trees where we found the leaves and talk a little bit more. Where on the branch do the leaves grow? How are they attached? Do the leaves grow far apart from each other? Are they close together or are they in clumps? Do all the leaves on this tree match exactly? We can also notice other characteristics about the tree itself. What color is the tree's bark? Do you see any flowers, nuts, or fruit on the tree? And what is the overall shape of this tree? Using a field guide with a tree key, we could look at characteristics of leaves and other parts of the tree to determine the type of tree. Using a key is kind of like solving a mystery. If you don't have a field guide with a tree key, tree keys are always available online. For example, the Arbor Day Foundation has an awesome online version available. There are also so many smartphone apps that can help you identify leaves. Take time now to use a key to identify the types of leaves you found. What are your mystery trees? We can use the leaves we found to create a relay race or a memory game. We can even create crafts with the leaves we found. Two of my favorite craft ideas are leaf rubbings using crayons and leaf prints using paint. Ta-da! What can you create with your leaves? Thanks for joining Tuck and me along with the Alabama Project Learning Tree as we take a closer look at leaves. For more information, visit the Project Learning Tree web... Tuck said not early. For more information, visit the Project Learning Tree website at www.plt.org. There are family activities as well as activities that your teachers can use in their classrooms. Bye, guys!